The best awards was awarded last night. Lionel Messi emerged triumphant, winning the award after his World Cup heroics with Argentina in December 2022. We'll look at how the Black Stars, coaches and players voted for the FIFA Best Awards, which was held last night. More tributes coming in for the deceased Christian Achu from John Mensa, as well as a former professional footballers. Also, the family visited the president of the land, Anandu Danko Akufuadu, to officially announce to him of the passing of their son, brother, and father, Christian Achu. We'll look at all that today. As you just subscribe, if you have not, click on the notification bell to get more updates. Our football merch links are in the description. Purchase the merch. It goes a long way to help this channel. I keep bringing you content. We'll jump right into it and we'll talk first of all about uh, the FIFA Best Awards. Last night, Lionel Messi won the award, deservedly so, after he led his Argentina side to their first World Cup trophy since 1986, when uh, Diego Maradona famously won the trophy for them. Messi had this dark cloud over his head as being one of the greatest players who had never won the World Cup. Alas, he did it at possibly his final World Cup tournament and uh, many people were excited uh, for him and rightly so, he got the goal. But how did our Ghana Black Stars team or no coaches and managers uh, of national teams vote? How did they vote? Well, uh, George Boating was the one who voted uh, but according to reports, the DIU and Thomas Party a boycotted the process. The 2022 FIFA Awards was held in Paris and saw Black Stars assistant coach George Boate cast his vote as two of Ghana's captain Thomas Pate and Andre Ayu did not submit their votes. The FIFA Best Football Awards, which is voted for by national team coaches and captains as well as journalists and supporters worldwide via FIFA's official website, allows voters to choose who should be crowned first, second and third in different categories. At this year's edition, which was held in Paris, Black Stars captain Thomas Partey and Andre Ayew did not cast their votes as Messi won his record seventh men's best player of the year, with Linus Colani and Emiliano Martinez picking up the best coach and best goalkeeper awards. According to FIFA, none of Ghana's captains voted for the best FIFA men's player of the year, as well as coach and goalkeepers of the year. However, Black Stars assistant coach George Boateng, who took part in the voting, uh, chose Kylian Mbappe as his first FIFA men's player with Lionel Messi and Neymar in second and third, respectively. Uh, for the FIFA men's coach of the year, George Boateng went for Argentina coach Lionel Scolani in first uh, with Morocco coach uh, Walid Wadrago in the second and France uh, coach Didier Deschamps in third place. Uh, uh, coach George Watting voted Argentina goalkeeper Martinez as the best goalkeeper with Yasin Bono and Edison in second and third respectively. Head coach of the women's team Nora Hoptil and her captains also cast their votes as well as uh, William Ezra who represented Ghanaian journalists. So uh, it was an interesting way for the voting to go. and. Uh, who was voted uh, for the award. Now we know how our players voted. They did not vote at all. That was the captains. Uh, but George Boateng's choosing was quite okay. I, I think I agree with most of what he chose for. Probably the best award, choosing Kylian Mbappe first. Mbappe was immense. He was great. It was amazing. But Karen Benzema as well, who had a great year. But you cannot deny that the World Cup is the Holy Grail. And if anyone wins it and leads his country to it as did Messi and looking at it being his final World Cup, he would not fault him for winning it in the end. But let me know your thoughts on the best award. My only problem with that award was that how is the best goalkeeper not in the final best 11? How is Vinicius Jr. after the year he had in 2022 not there and Erling Haaland is in there? Yeah, you can never satisfy everyone and I'm not looking to be satisfied but I'm looking for some consistency throughout. My next story has to do with Christian Achu and tribute still pouring in for the Ghanaian who lost his life in that Turkish earthquake. Talking about Turkish earthquake, yesterday another earthquake 
hit Turkey. Fortunate things happening there. Looks like some regions have to be evacuated by the Turkish people. And now, jump right into it. And it's a tribute coming in from John Mensa, who remembers Christian Achu as being very humble. The former Black Stars defender has paid tribute to the late winger, describing him as respectful and humble. Now, John Mensa disclosed that despite not playing with Achu, he has been told good stories about the Ghanaian. Uh, the contended the unfortunate incident. That the unfortunate incident that happened to Achu has left him shattered and assured that the ex footballer will support the family in their trying times. Christian Achu was respectful and humble. I didn't play with him, but I saw him a couple of times. What happened was sad and unfortunate. We send our condolences to the family and we assure them of our support. Every Ghanaian is hurt by the development. And we send our regrets to the family. John Mesa made uh, the statement when he joined the Professional Footballers Association of Ghana uh, to visit the family of Christian Achu on Thursday, uh, the 23rd of February. The team led by their president, Sami Kufo, donated boxes, bottles of water to the family. The Ghanaians were thrown into a state of mourning after the confirmation of the passing of Christian Achu after his body was found in the rubble. Unfortunate there, but great tribute coming in uh, from him there unfortunate but we have to move on and the latest is that the family have gone to meet the president of the land and he has assured them of a dignified burial the president of the republic nana Adodankwa, disclosed that he will do everything to ensure that the black stars winger gets a dignified burial the president said on monday 27th february when he hosted the family of the deceased player and officials from the family and the GFA at the Jubilee House. I want the Chief of Staff to make sure we organize a state assisted burial for Christian Achu. Depending on the date that you, the members of the family and the GFA will select. Everything will be done from the post of view of the government to make sure everything will be done from the post of view of government to make sure that he is giving a dignified exit. I owe it as my responsibility as president to make sure that happens. The president stressed. The president added, the decision as to when the funeral will take place depends on the family. That is the tradition in Ghana. Whatever the decision, whatever dates that you choose, you should know that the government will stand squarely behind you to make sure that we give him a befitting burial. While the date of the funeral has, for Christian Achu has not been set, and the family are scheduled to have a one-week observation of the demise of the player this weekend, the 4th of March. And you can be sure we'll be there to bring you pictures and updates on how that one-week celebration goes. Condolences, commiserations to the family once again. So that has been it for today. Looking at how the Ghana Black Stars captains and coaches voted for the FIFA Best Awards. Also looking at uh, Christian Achu's tribute coming in from John Mensa and the president assuring them of a dignified burial. I'll see you guys in the next one. Thoughts in the comments box. Enjoy the rest of the week.